Kim, Rob for Kim's Mortgage Minute on Thursday, ah, April the 4th, forgot there for a moment. Hey, with uh, the market the way it is, a lot of folks are turning uh, their houses into rentals. If uh, they can't sell the place, uh, folks are looking at uh, either renting out their suites or renting out uh, the whole house itself. So there's a few things that I thought I'd share with you to keep in mind to make sure that uh, you know you keep your tenants happy and that uh, you don't go through the uh, proverbial uh, you know, wheel of turning over tenants all the time and having to deal with finding new people all the time. So what are some of the key tips to keeping good tenants? Well, first off is be present. Well, what, you, what that means is uh, you really want to make sure that you don't become an absentee landlord. Uh, tenants uh, will need to know that there's somebody around if there's issues or problems that they can communicate with. And they found that when landlords are absentee, tenants are very unlikely to report problems and issues as much especially structural things and different things like that because they feel that there's nobody around. And they're very unlikely to renew a lease again because it, there's nobody uh, that they've been in a regular touch with. There's no relationship built up. Another thing to do it also is when a tenant has an issue, uh, respond quickly. Uh, that doesn't mean you necessarily have to get the whole problem fixed really fast, but so long as you respond. So if a tenant calls you, I mean, ideally, a lot of property management companies say within an hour or two, you should be responding back. Again, like I said, put a plan in place to make sure that whatever they're concerned about does get fixed ultimately. And go above and beyond. If you're going to rent your property out, make sure that it stands out from the crowd. There's a lot of competition out there these days. So what's going to set your property apart? What's unique about it? I mean, what are you offering? What are the little extra things that are going to make your property, uh, you know, heads and shoulders above the rest? Another thing to do to keep good tenants is uh, basically appreciate your tenants. Uh, you got to make sure that you, uh, you know, thank them for being good tenants. I mean, a lot of times people take that for granted. Uh, this can be done in a lot of different ways. If you, uh, obviously through the application process, you know when your tenant's birthday is, uh, give them a Starbucks gift card for 20 bucks or do something like that. Uh, give them a birthday card, anything like that, that at least lets them know that you do care and that you're glad that they're around and uh, they're, you know, choosing to rent your property. Another thing to keep in mind is that with tenants, keep the communication lines fully open. A lot of times people don't always talk to each other and they only talk to each other when there's a problem. So, I mean, periodically call the tenants up, find out how they're doing just because. Uh, this is a great process. Again, it uh, allows you to get feedback from them if there's some issues or concerns that maybe you weren't aware of or they didn't bring up. It's an ideal opportunity to do so. So those are just some of the key tips or key ideas that you want to keep in mind. Again, like I said, be present, be a, be, don't be an absentee landlord. Uh, make sure that if a, ten, a tenant reports an issue to you, you at least acknowledge it and address it right away. And again, you can work on it to solve it after. Uh, go above and beyond. I mean, if uh, you know, you're in an area where there's a lot of snow, provide your tenants shovels. I mean, you've got to make sure, again, if you don't have a cleaning service or something like that that comes and does it, give your tenants the proper tools, uh, whatever, things like that, that you want to make sure. Make sure they're, they know they're appreciated, that you're glad to have them around. Make sure that your property stays spotless and pristine so it's in good shape so tenants are attracted and you maintain the rest of the property and the structure. And of course, like I said, keep the lines of communication open. Um, and there's so many different ways, uh, you know, just to keep it all working. And if you do have a issue with a bounce check or something like that, get on it right away, address it. Uh, usually, hopefully, most times it'll just be uh, an oversight or something that can be corrected fairly quickly. And another thing that some landlords do is they offer some kind of a small discount for uh, prepayment. So if uh, tenants are willing to pay a few months in advance, they're going to offer them some kind of a discount. Again, you have to give a little up, but there's an advantage there for you because you've been paid in advance. So just a few tips, uh, things to keep in mind. And if you are looking to purchase an investment property, need a mortgage for it, please let us know at the Auxilium team. We're always here and happy to help. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And uh, well, it's raining outside today and well, hopefully it'll be a little better tomorrow.